Hi everyone, today we're in Barnstable in North Devon. Um, it's the place where I was born, the place where I did most of my growing up. Um, and today I'm going to show my wife some of the places I used to go to um, as a teenager. Are you ready my darling? I am. Here we go. All right, so we've moved away from the, uh, the square and we're going to head down here towards the Strand as it's known. And um, the Strand is where, it's where all the nightclubs are in the Strand or where they, where they were. They're probably not there anymore, I don't know. So this is where we used to come as, or I used to come as, as a teenager to get drunk, to, to attempt to dance. Um, but mostly getting drunk and then uh, thrown up outside in the street. So let's cross over. But it's very windy actually at the moment, crazy wind. And looks like they're doing something over here. This used to be a fountain and now they put plants in it. But basically it was a fountain with water. And when everyone came out of the nightclubs, they used to um, just throw uh, like washing powder into this fountain and then it obviously used to like go everywhere. So um, they obviously got fed up with that and now they've put plants in it. But yeah, can't, can't say I blame them. And over here actually, there used to be a, uh, a hot dog van with a man called Terry who used to sell these really uh, dodgy hot dogs and burgers. I wonder if he's still alive, old Terry. Right, behind me is um, what uh, what was known back in the day as Xenexis. And Xenexis was the local nightclub. Um, it was pretty terrible. And there were only really two nightclubs at that point. There was this one, Xenexis, and then there was another one called Bees. And Bees was a bit like rough. People in there were a bit rougher, more of an older crowd as well. Whereas Xenexis, most people in there were underage, including me. Um, so yeah, we used to go in there and drink um, 10 bottles of Diamond White. I remember drinking Diamond White. I can't even remember what it is now. Have you heard of Diamond White? Never. I think it's like, oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe somebody can write in the comments if they remember what's in it. I can't remember what's in it. Cider maybe? I don't know. So yeah, Zenexis, this was the place to go. And then as I said afterwards, you come out and, and go and uh, chuck stuff in the fountain. Um, it's actually now Witherspoons. Um, so yeah, but it's weird to go in there now because it looks so different. Oh, and there was another club over here, which kind of... So initially there were only um, two nightclubs in the whole of Barnstable, yeah? And then another one opened, and it's this place. So this place here was a cinema years ago. I remember going there once when it was a cinema. And then um, they, they converted it, or it was empty for a long time, and then they turned it into a nightclub in the maybe late 90s and it was called Chaos and it was like a rave club really dodgy rave club full of drug dealers so um, if you wanted to get drugs that's where you went to Chaos so this is the place you go to when you were like not quite drunk enough to go to the nightclub and you needed maybe another one or two drinks so you go into the Inn on the Strand and then go to Zanexis a place to be um, but again it's empty yeah, it's closed down. I think this place has been empty for years now. Yeah, I don't know why. But this street as well used to be um, like cars could come up and down here. So there used to be loads of traffic jams here. But, but yeah, they pedestrianized it. So they seem to have tidied this area up a bit, I guess. And oh, and over here, look, for people um, who are uh, watching this from another country, look phone boxes. Can you believe there's actually phone boxes? I wonder if they work. All right, let's go and have a look, shall we? So, see if it works. Oh, can you hold the door there? Phone box. It seems to be a toilet these oh, God, days. It actually works. I've, I've, and yeah, I think people have used it as a toilet as well, as my wife said. Yeah, it smells a bit in there. But actually a working payphone in the iconic red box. But actually there's two here and they've both got phones in. It's bizarre. Yeah. Who, who in their right mind's gonna use a normal phone now, like a landline? Other than, you know, everyone's got mobiles. Even like five-year-old children have got mobiles now. Yeah. All right, so we'll go up this way and I'll show you um, more of the uh, exciting 
um, town of Barnstable. So let's go down here. Right. So you've seen the exciting place where uh, I used to go as a teenager and get drunk. Um, nice cafe here. Let's just flip the camera around. Tea on the tour. Yeah, quite a nice little cafe. Quite expensive, I think. But not bad. Not bad. And there's another one down here as well. And it's looking quite nice as well with all these trees. Barnstable used to be known as the uh, the home of the traffic jam. Before they built a new bridge over that way, um, you used to have to sit in traffic jams here all the time. It was a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Um, and there was even a sign I saw once that said on the back of someone's car, Barnstable, the home of the traffic jam. But now I think locals would say Barnstable is famous for charity shops and coffee shops. Because <laughs> literally there's nothing else here apart from charity shops and coffee shops now. Yeah. So now we're in the high street. Typical English high street. Yeah. Not like someone wearing a mask there. Look outside. Crazy people. Hello. And she's pregnant as well. What yours? Mine? <laughs> I hope it's mine, yeah. Congratulations. Is it mine? Thank you. Do you know what it's going to be? Yeah, it's a girl. Oh, oh yes. wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. Hopefully it's mine and not the milkman's. You're going to have a lovely life together. Lovely life, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, Slava Ukraina. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine. All, all right, all the best. Take care. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. What a nice man. Um, yeah, with his Ukrainian support badge as well. So we're going to head down this way to one of the most exciting places in the whole of Barnstable. And here it is, Butcher's Row. Now literally this is a street full of butcher's shops. Um, although there's a bakery there as well actually. <laughs> I say it's Butcher's Row and probably now all the butchers have gone away and re been replaced with bakery shops. But, but yeah, Butcher's Row. So. It's like an old-fashioned kind of market area. Do you have anything like this in Ukraine? Uh, I suppose we do have markets where you might have like a butcher's row. Yeah, let's but, go around this way because um, the sun's that side. You know, I'm a vegetarian so I don't really go to places like this. Yeah, you don't do meat, do you? So. No, no. Um, but yeah, this, is, this part here is quite old, I think. Part of the original town. Um, oh, and there's noise going in here, so I'll go in here and show you in here. So we're in now the Pannier Market and they sell, as you can hear, they're packing up at the moment. They do a lot of like uh, craft markets or fruit and veg markets. So they're very um, patriotic in here, I think. Another Ukrainian flag. Well, my wife's just got a, uh, a phone call from, um, from her dad who is in the army in Ukraine. So she's just having a little chat with him. It was his birthday a couple of days ago, so. Here's the uh, crown jewels there, look. The uh, queen will be missing that one. Because it's the Jubilee very soon. 70 years of Queenie. Our only shopping centre in the whole of Barnstable. There used to be more shops in there, but now I think most of the places are empty in there. Um, the rent's too high, maybe COVID as well, kind of closed a lot of places down. So yeah, get run over by some bikes now. But uh, yeah, so this is Barnstable. This is where I was born. This is where I worked in my last job before I left the UK. It's also uh, where I lived. I grew up in another place, a village kind of nearby, and I'll show you that as well another day. But um, today is just the excitement of Barnstable. You can't have too much excitement for one day. Yeah. But yeah, it's all right, really. It's nice if you, um, you know, if, if you want a quiet place to live, then North Devon is not bad. But, you know, now I look at it and when I come back here and I, I wonder, like, what did I used to do when I was a kid? Because, you know, there's not much to do in North Devon, really, you know. If you're a surfer, then it's great, but I'm, I've never been a surfer. So, yeah, there's not a huge amount to do, which is why everyone goes out drinking and doing drugs or something. Of course, not me. Your dad's okay? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he is. Good. So it was nice to talk to him, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, her dad is in the army, and yeah, you never know what's going on over there, really. So you know, it's always a worry, isn't yeah. it? Um, but anyway, there's Barnstable. Yeah, not the most exciting place in the world. What do you think? Could you live here? Could you imagine growing up here? Uh, I can actually because it comes from a quite a small um, town in southern Ukraine. Well, it's not bigger than small, this one. Small? It's like half a million people. <laughs> yeah, well, for Ukraine it is small and, you know, uh, it's even less exciting. <laughs> yeah. So we literally have just uh, two central streets and not much to do. Uh, so for teenagers it's, it can be quite boring. Mm -hmm. I think... Um, so alcohol and drugs? <laughs> well, yeah, we do have a lot of drug addicts. A lot of drug addicts and a lot of alcoholics. Nothing yeah. else to do. Yeah. No, not And a high really. birth rate. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you have a half a million people here in Barnstable. I think it's like 40,000, maybe 50,000 now. So it's quite small, really, isn't it? But then I suppose you've got the ocean, if you like that. Yeah, you? yeah. Um, you've got the, um, the muddy river. You yeah. can go and swim in. Did you ever swim in the muddy river in Mikolaya? Um, I didn't actually. Okay. A lot of people do, but I'm not yeah. sure if it's safe. No, that's it, no, isn't it? There are nice places, I mean, uh, but um, for a, a town of half a million people, yeah. you know, you would expect a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's got a nice centre, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, so my experience of growing up in North Devon really was when you live here and you don't know anything else, I think it's fine. But now I've lived in you know, Kiev, for example, or in Odessa, where, you know, bigger cities and traveled more and had my eyes opened, I realized now there's more out there. Yeah. But if I'd never left, probably I would have never thought anything, you know, else about it. So, so there you go. Anyway, we're going to get a tea, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, cup of tea time. All right, so take care, see you soon.